Welcome to Paid Today, how to create a booking configuration. First thing we'll need to do is go ahead and click on the business tab on the left sidebar and go ahead and open up your booking forms. And we can see we got a few here created. Uh, on the top right, click create new booking. And then from here, we go ahead and give it a title. And then we'll go ahead and select who's going to be the provider of this. And I don't want her. Go ahead and delete that. Um, I want him. And he's going to he's going to be the one kind of providing the meeting for anybody that signs up on this uh, booking form. Uh, the appointment duration it's going to be 45 minutes. And the lead time in between a back-to-back -back appointment is going to be 15. So that's a 15-minute buffer. Uh, 15 minute lead time I should say the new booking buffer is the days out so I'll have how many days do you want to prepare um, before a new booking can be booked so from today's date uh, it'll be three days before the next new booking can be made uh, that gives me three days to prepare and that way you don't get overloaded or caught off guard the booking window is how many days um, do you want to allow people to book out so I'll say 30 days into the future people can book appointments and then we're gonna go ahead and forward them to a thank you page that I have created this could be any URL that you want to forward them to as soon as they submit um, if you got some custom CSS uh, stylings and stuff you can do you can paste that here and then for the times we're gonna go ahead and select uh, 9 a.m. Monday through Friday so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on these and click the 9 key just get those set up and then it's gonna be 0 key and then I'm gonna go through and just click A so that's 9 a.m. and then the end time is gonna be 5 for my availability do the same thing except for this time it's gonna be P for p.m. Okay. This is the email that gets sent out as soon as they um, book a call or book book a meeting with you. So we'll say this is for the subject. And then here we can use these substitutes as well. So you can show the location of the meeting. If it's going to be a, um, a video call or whatever, you can go ahead and put the message in here. You can put links in here, uh, anything you want them to uh, kind of see on their email. And then we can also add questions to the booking form. And let's go ahead and save this first. So we're going to go so we're save it on the top right. OK, now that we got that saved, we can check out we've got our message and our subject for the email uh, here's our booking embed code if we need to embed it somewhere else we can do that um, go back to our bookings and we can see our new booking here and the ID for it and then we also have a report for it you can see the report of how many people are currently booked or have booked uh, through the report there